We're talking about who pays on a date and other uncomfortable topics on today's show. I'm Andrea Sirtash, and this is On Dating. What is the most uncomfortable thing about dating? When you break up with someone, that's always a little awkward. Breaking the no-touch rule, because I always get uncomfortable when somebody's trying to touch me when I don't want them to. The whole rejection thing. Dun, dun, dun. In my experience, picking up my date, the father being there. The first date, asking the person I would be the most uncomfortable, I think. Trying to establish um, who is, who's going to like pay for things, and you hate to ask who's going to pay for something up front. That makes it really uncomfortable. At the beginning of dating a new person, we all have uncomfortable moments. There are three areas I often get asked about. How do you break up with someone online who you haven't even met yet? Who should pay on the first date? And how do you end a date with a person you don't really want to see again? All valid questions, and let's face it, all awkward. What happens when you meet and communicate with someone online and then meet a new person who you're more interested in? This happens all the time. You start emailing with someone, you're close to booking a date, but then a fabulous new person pops up, you're no longer really interested in the other one. In my experience with clients, suck it up and tell the person you've been emailing for a while that since you began corresponding, you have in fact met someone in the real world. Look, it should be no surprise you're dating. You've met on a dating site after all. Just don't disappear cold turkey if you've emailed more than a few times. Not cool. Who pays on a first date? Of course there are exceptions, but the general rule is if you want to hang out again, it's totally uncool for the guy not to get the tab on a first date. It's actually a big complaint I hear from women as they debrief a date. So when the bill comes, it should go down something like this. Man pulls out his wallet. Woman pulls out hers. Man says, oh, no, 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 it's, it's on me. Woman, are you sure? Man insists, yeah, my pleasure. Woman, of course, thanks him, and if she likes him, adds, I'll get it next time. See? Easy. Now, even though the man should pay on the first date, that doesn't mean a woman shouldn't offer to you know, contribute to a part of it, like dessert after dinner. But guys, get the main event and insist with a smile. If you don't, she'll notice. If you're strapped for cash, suggest a cheaper dating spot, like a glass of wine or a walk and an ice cream. That way you won't dread picking up the tab. How do you end a date with someone you don't want to see again? With online dates and blind dating, it's common not to want to book a second date after the initial meeting. But it's awkward, especially if you've had a nice evening together. A number of men say, I'll call you when the date is coming to a close. They may know there's no way they'll ever dial their date's digits again, but perhaps it's a pleasant way to end the evening. Wrong. Don't do that. A woman would much prefer you to just say, thank you, nice to meet you, good night, and make that the end of it. Don't pretend you're going to follow up if you're not. Women, same goes for you. Keep it simple at the end. Of course, if the guy pays, you're going to want to thank him and then get out of there fast. Just say thank you, good night. If the guy follows up to book a date again, you can email back something like this. Dear date, thank you for your note. While I appreciate the invitation, I do not feel a romantic connection. I wish you all the best. I think you get the point. In dating, there are always awkward moments, but the fewer the games, the better. If you're not interested in your date, that's okay. It happens all the time, and people are more resilient than you realize. So be considerate even when you're not interested. And when you are interested, guys, pick up the tab, because dividing the check and counting change at the table is, well, it's not a turn on. Here's a reminder of how to get through some uncomfortable dating situations. Be honest if you meet someone else. Guys, get the tab. And everybody, don't pretend you're going to follow up if you're not. Thanks for watching on dating. And remember, even a bad date makes a great story. So get out there and have some fun. I'm Andrea Sirtash. See you next time.